Joining me live to talk about the team's community initiatives are quarterback Jacoby Brissett and Director of Community Relations, Ashley Powell. Both of you, thank you so much for starting your day with us. We sure do appreciate it. Thank you, thanks for yeah. having us. Absolutely, Ashley, I wanna start with you to ask you more about some of the outreach efforts. Um, some people after seeing what happened Sunday, they were asking, well, we wanna know more about some of the specific things you all are doing off yeah. the field. How do you answer that question? Yeah, so obviously our mission as an organization is to entertain, inspire, and unite by winning the right way. So that means we take our work, what we do um, in the communities and throughout our city and state just as seriously as what we do on the field. Um, so some steps that we've taken um, as an organization to address you know, diversity and inclusion just because it is the right thing to do um, is the formation of the Players Action Fund. So that was started in collaboration with our players and our Ursa family to help fund you know, worthy community efforts and nonprofits doing great things in our city and state. Um, earlier this summer, we announced the Ursa Family Impact Scholarship, um, which when fully established will help a talented minority students with a financial need to achieve a high school and college education. We also made a donation to the IPS Education Equity Fund. We've had a long standing great partnership with IPS. And so that was really a no brainer for us to help those students that have been disproportionately affected by COVID. Um, specifically challenges with e-learning and devices and Wi-Fi. And then finally, we're looking forward to bringing on a new staffer as the Director of Diversity um, of Equity and Inclusion who will work with internal and external partners to support and to support and promote diversity within our organization really throughout our community as a whole. Um, so some, those are some of the steps we've taken so far and you know some of the things that we um, are continuously working through are our players' efforts that they've identified some four key areas um, that particularly in the black community, um, one being voter registration and education, which I'll let Jacoby touch on that, um, improving police and community relations. So working with um, our local law enforcement in the community and um, helping them establish those relationships that they're serving in, I food access and yeah, I want to be able to get Jacoby in here because we only have about yeah, a minute sorry. 30 left. Yes, um, thank you for explaining yeah. all of that. But Jacoby, tell me a little bit more about Start the Cycle, something that you started in your hometown there in Florida. Why is that so important to you? Uh, I mean, it, it really touched home for me because it is home. Uh, it's the community that I grew up in. Uh, you, know, it was in uh, you know, it started off as a bike ride, um, you know, really to, you know, to be able to give back bikes in a time where you know, everybody was stuck in a house and trying to find ways during COVID to, you know, to, to do things and, and um, you know, exercise and, and just and, and be be with be with our community. So, uh, you know, we, we, we me and my team back home, uh, you know, we decided to, to work with our police and law enforcement uh, in, in efforts to, you know, to bridge the gap between law enforcement and um, in our community. Uh, you know, it was, it was after that that George Floyd uh, incident, uh, you know, it kind of, you know, really hit home with me because, uh, you know, I'm, I, I saw myself. Uh, mm -hmm. So therefore it was, it was, you know, I was searching for things to do and, and uh, you know, luckily I'm in a group of, uh, with, uh, you know, elder uh, influential black uh, people in my community that, you know, we always ride bikes on, on, on Sundays and Saturdays. So, uh, you know, it was, it was, uh, you know, something that just, you know, sparked on a, on a one of the rides and, and, you know, mm. we made it happen and it was a, a great event. Uh, and along with that, we, uh, you know, over 50, 50 or some people, uh, you know, registered to vote. Uh, and it was uh, a lot of older people. And it was, it was surprising that, you know, that, uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, older people of, of, of above, you know, 30 and 40 uh, weren't registered to vote and yeah. didn't understand it. So, you know, we kind of took the efforts to, to, you know, educate them about those things and, and provide that opportunity to register. We have to hit a commercial break. I wish we had more time, Jacoby, and we sure do appreciate you both joining us this morning and sharing more about what's important to you and some of the specific things that you and the Colts organization are both doing. Hey, good luck to you this season. We'll be Thank watching. You. Thanks to Kobe. If you'd like, yeah, Ashley, if you'd like more information about the Colts community programs, including voter registration, fox59.com slash links, and you'll find more about that.